I'm just north of Nash. I hiked through a field to get to this one. I look like a house, but it's been converted into storage. There's a lot of stuff, just stuff, and it's all rotting. Looks like an electric scooter over there. Still got the helmet hanging. It's a primitive cinder block building, but exterior wise, it looks like a house. There's even a cellar outside that I haven't even checked yet. a lot of stuffed animals, how strange. That, I mean, that looks like a chimney. I don't know, how weird. All right, so there's the cellar. Look at the exterior of this building. Look at this. It was a house. Yeah, that barn is old, and I'm gonna go check it out next. <clears throat> so this is the counterweight system to be able to lift the door for the cellar. And this is old too. Now this house here looks like it was a Maybe a 1970 or 1980. This cellar looks older than that. Well, that lid has been down here so long, this place regularly fills up with the water. I've seen people do this in their houses. Stack cinder blocks, put some boards between them, make your own shelves. It's got a glass lid. What's it say? I can't make it out. Huh. Never seen a jar quite like that before. That looks like a barrel. No printing on the bottom. Anytime you see a glass top like that, that's pretty rare. There's another unusual one. I've only seen these in antique stores. A little glass window. I think I saw some of them on the uh, shelves in the small town of Marshall. Some of the abandoned buildings. Look at that furnace. Old. 
So this flows into the chimney that runs the entire entire length of the house or the entire height. Hmm. Yeah, and look, the ground up above is sloped in. And with that door being gone and this one sloped in, let me see if this one slopes. Yeah, so all you're getting is water runoff and erosion straight down in here. That's why this is filling in with sediment. Was not an easy hike in. So this would have been probably part of the actual contents of the home. It's hauled out here and dumped since somebody just wanted to use it for storage. Well, this looks like that native stone cinder block they used to make the barn is made out of. This is a massive tree. Now look at that, it still looks like a house. No electrical, it's been cut. This will make a great picture. You've seen those in some of my other vids. It's an old uh, cow chute. And what's surprising me is some of these features here look a little modern. Electrical to the barn's been cut too. It would have ran. You can see it's cut. The play of light across this is amazing. It kind of reminds me of a starry night sky. But it wasn't very well taken care of. There was a bar. Oh, look, look. Bar now. I'm kind of wondering if there was more of a loft because I mean, you see some stairs right there or a ladder. I'm sorry, that's just not much of a storage area. And you can see the uh, that would have opened be able to take hay in and out. They probably will load it that way too. I bet all this was enclosed at one point. Wow. Look at this. This is from years and years and years of either animals rubbing their neck on it or chewing on it. What a neat barn. Look here, 
there's a grooming brush. So someone must have had a horse in here at one point. Usually when stuff greens out like that, it's silver plated, maybe. I'm not an expert, wouldn't matter. Looky here, you guys know what that is? Sorry I'm talking low. Just don't want to interrupt the wind and nature. It's really peaceful today. This was an original ice box, not much left to it. Your block of ice would have went on one side and you would have stored your goods on the other. So this was an original refrigerator. <laughs> Like it even still has the uh, brand label on it. That's pretty cool. I have I haven't seen one of these uh, other than in museums before. So I bet this probably was in the original house that sat somewhere on this property because that that house over there is not original. What is that? That's a dog. I hope that's not somebody's dog. It was abandoned. If that bothers you, I'm sorry. Here's an old washer. These are used for storage. I guess we could check it out. Just trying not to make a bunch of racket, but oh well. This looks like a really primitive uh, chicken coop, maybe. It may have been for lambs. I've seen it used for pigs, too. Yeah, I don't think it would have been chickens. Well, I don't know, maybe. Look, look over there, you see that? That's a, a feeder chute, hold on. Your farmers are, yeah, see they were throwing their feed in there and it wouldn't have went into those little food bins in there for the animals to eat. They're so resilient. This right here would have been, like a water tank or something like that. And this was repurposed. It was good welds. Yeah, there's the front door. I went in through the rear. must have landed on top of it. It's dented right there. Not even really used for storage. Wow, what a neat looking barn. I parked about a mile that way. Kansas City, Missouri.
Okay. I'm going to walk back to my truck. If I see anything along the way that looks pretty noteworthy, I'll turn my camera back on. But if I don't see anything else, I'm going to move on to the next location. So this is, uh, I believe this is Grant County. So this is Roaming Ryan leaving Grant County. I'm wrapping up here. I may even just cut this part out, but I just I can't get enough of this this old barn. Here's a really neat looking structure. It's a really pretty day today. Okay. Like I said, I'm I'm not trying to fill. I just really love the way that looks. Okay, we're wrapping up. And I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys at the next location, okay?